Schrodinger wave equation. Hello learners, we learn about the dual nature of any moving microscopic particle in de Broglie hypothesis concept. The scientist Schrodinger also believed on the same hypothesis. He thinked that if microscopic particle like electron could behave like a wave, then equation of wave motion could be applied to them. He used a classical time independent wave equation to describe this particle wave. Then substituted to the de Broglie relation for lambda, de Broglie wavelength. At the last, he got a very famous equation called Schrodinger wave equation. Later on, it found more applications of this equation. Thus, learners, in this lecture, we are going to derive the Schrodinger wave equation in detail. For his derivation, he used the idea that in atom, electron is moving around the nucleus as a standing wave. He consider electron wave of wavelength lambda moving along the x axis. The equation for such standing wave is given as psi is equal to a sin 2 pi x upon lambda, where psi is the wave function of this moving electron, a is the constant, x is the displacement of this electron along the x direction and lambda is the wavelength of this moving electron. The standing wave equation is psi is equal to a sin 2 pi x upon lambda. This is equation number first. Then let us take differentiation of equation 1 with respect to x. Then we will get here on this side daba psi upon daba x which is equal to a is constant sine of this term is cos of 2 pi x upon lambda and here 2 pi upon lambda this is equation number 2 so this is the first derivation of equation number 1 with respect to x again we take the differentiation of equation number 2 with respect to x then we will get daba square psi upon daba x square which is equal to a is constant cos of this term that becomes this term is also constant so right here then cos of this term is minus sine of 2 pi x upon lambda and again differentiation with respect to x is 2 pi upon lambda this is equation number third now we are going to rearrange this equation daba square psi upon daba x square which is equal to a 2 pi upon lambda multiply by 2 pi upon lambda minus sin 2 pi x upon lambda this is equation number 4 again if you rearrange this equation then we will get daba square psi upon daba x square 2 multiplied by 2 it is 4 pi square upon lambda square a sine of 2 pi x upon lambda this is equation number 5 and this minus sign can be written on this side now if you observe this term a sine of 2 pi x upon lambda this is the value of psi according to equation number first so we can replace this term by psi then equation number 5 becomes as daba square psi upon daba x square which is equal to minus 4 pi square upon lambda square multiplied by psi this is equation number 6 
now we are going to rearrange this equation number 6 for lambda square then we will get lambda square which is equal to this minus 4 pi square divided by this term d square psi upon daba x square multiply by psi this is equation number 7 now we use kinetic energy equation kinetic energy is half of m v square in which m is mass of electron and v is the velocity of the electron this is equation number 8 now we multiply equation number 8 with m and divide with m then we will get half multiply by m then it becomes m square v square and divide by m that means upon m this is equation number 9 now this is the equation of kinetic energy now we are using the de Broglie equation de Broglie equation it is lambda is equal to h upon mv if you square equation number 10 then we will get lambda square is equal to h square upon m square v square this is equation number 11 if you move this term m square v square to this side then we will get m square v square which is equal to h square upon lambda square this is equation number 12 now we are going to put the value of m square v square from equation 12 to equation 9 in this place then the kinetic energy is equal to in place of m square v square it is h square lambda square to as it is and here m this is equation number 13 so it, the equation 8 9 becomes as kinetic energy is equal to h square upon 2 lambda square m now we are going to put the value of this lambda square from equation 7 into equation 13 in this place then we will get kinetic energy is equal to half h square upon 4 pi square m psi daba square psi upon daba x square this is equation number 40 now we are going to multiply this with this term so 2 multiply by 4 it is 8 so equation 14 becomes as kinetic energy equal to minus h square as it is 2 multiplied by 4 it is 8 pi square m psi multiplied by daba square psi upon daba x square this is equation number 15 now we know that total energy is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy so total energy is capital E kinetic energy is capital T and potential energy is capital V so this is equation number 16 if you rearrange this equation for kinetic energy T it is E minus V this is equation number 17 now we are going to put the value of kinetic energy in from equation number 17 to the to this place then we will get the equation number 15 becomes as e minus v which is equal to minus h square upon 8 pi square m psi d square psi upon dx square this is equation number 18 now we are going to transfer this whole term from right hand side to the left hand side then on right hand side 
डेबा स्क्वेर साय अपॉन डेबा एक स्क्वेर ओनली दिस टर्म रिमेन्स विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस दिस एट पाय स्क्वेर यम अपॉन एट स्क्वेर देन मल्टीप्लाय बाय साय एंड ई माइनस वी दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर नाइनटीन इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप दिस होल टर्म वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम दिस साइड टू द दिस साइड देन वी विल गेट डेबा स्क्वेर साय अपॉन डेबा एक स्क्वेर प्लस एट पाय स्क्वेर यम अपॉन एच स्क्वेर ई माइनस वी मल्टीप्लाय बाय साय विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर ट्वेंटी सो दिस इज द फाइनल इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस इज द फाइनल स्क्रोडेंजर वेव इक्वेशन अलॉन्ग द एक्स डायरेक्शन ओनली दिस इज फॉर वन डायमेंशन ओनली सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन कॉल्ड एज ए टाइम इनडिपेंडेंट स्क्रोडेंजर वेव इक्वेशन और ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए स्क्रोडेंजर वेव equation with respect to space so let us write the schrodinger wave equation with respect to space that means for three dimensions this equation number 20 is for only one direction x now for x y z direction that means with respect to space is dabba square psi upon dabba x square plus dabba square psi upon dabba y square plus dabba square psi upon dabba z square plus 8 pi square m upon h square e minus v which is equal to 0 this is equation number 21 so this is also a schrodinger wave equation with respect to space now this term this three term or 21 equation that also we can write in the form of laplacian operator as del square psi plus 8 pi square m upon h square e minus v here psi that remain psi is equal to 0 this is equation number 22 where this term del square operator is डेबा स्क्वेर अपॉन डेबा एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस डेबा स्क्वेर अपॉन डेबा वाई स्क्वेर प्लस डेबा स्क्वेर अपॉन डेबा जेड स्क्वेर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ए लैपला सी एन ऑपरेटर और डेल स्क्वेर ऑपरेटर सो इक्वेशन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी टू इज द स्क्रोडेंजर वे इक्वेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू स्पेस एंड इक्वेशन नंबर ट्वेंटी इज no doubt it is a schrodinger wave equation but with respect to only one dimension x